So where are we going today, Dan? Uh, we're just going to check some trap lines, and uh, then we're going to experiment with some mesh-tastic. Mesh-tastic? What's that? Mesh-tastic, it's called. Mesh-tastic? Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, so it's Dan here, uh, Victor Echo 7, Victor Uniform, and uh, Kilo 7, Delta Victor Sierra. Those are my call signs. I'll give you the call signs because with us radio guys, uh, quite often we know each other by our call signs better than we do our first names. We'll say, oh, do you know that XRJ guy down there or, or whatever? But uh, I wanted to make a video, um, just uh, an overview about Meshtastic and what it is. Um, uh, most folks have probably already heard of it before, but if you haven't, this is a great introduction and just an overview of... Uh, what, what I've got going on personally here uh, with the Meshtastic, uh, what I've experimented with and what I'm doing and uh, um, some of the uses for it. So um, what it is, is it's a way to message people off grid um, without the use of any commercial infrastructure. You don't need any cellular service or anything like that. And uh, so there's different types of devices. Like this is a, a T-Deck, they call it. So it's a standalone uh, Meshtastic or LoRa which stands for long range device but it's flashed with uh, mesh tastic firmware and uh, all you need is this you just charge it up and away you go um, and it looks kind of like an old blackberry you know and then or there's an, a device like this this is a Heltec v3 and this just connects with bluetooth to your phone and uh, then you can message uh, using the app on your phone and again you don't need any infrastructure or your uh, your cell phone uh, network or anything like that. So um, there's a lot of uses for maybe a grid down scenario or uh, just uh, when you're out here where there's no cell service or you could be out hunting. And um, so each one of these uh, devices, um, it, it's called Mesh-tastic because it's a mesh network, right? So each one of these, if this is switched on, it's helping others who want to, to be in the mesh network. Um, so like if you can envision uh, you're in the grade school and then there's uh, someone wants to pass a note to the kid in the other side of the classroom. Well, he passes it to him and he passes it to him and so on. So, you know, if this device is switched on, if there's someone over there uh, trying to send a message to someone over there, it's going to pass through this device and sort of repeat it. Right. And um, so you can also set up repeaters um, and uh, set up your own infrastructure, your own mesh network. But just having any of these devices, they're going to also act like a repeater. So it's pretty neat. And uh, there's like an open channel. So you can communicate with everybody, maybe like-minded people in your community, um, but there's also encrypted 256-bit encryption if you if you wish to use encryption. So, and I'm not you know really too much into encryption. I'd rather kind of bring people together <laughs> and uh, have everybody on the same page. But there is that ability. So um, it, we're going to do a couple of examples. Um, if you remember um, in the last video I did, uh, it was uh, called Backcountry Communications of British Columbia. And I took XRJ's phone and I threw it in the fire. Yeah, we don't need this thing out here. It's useless. It's got no cell service. Males will just throw it in the fire. That was my phone. He threw my phone in the fire. Ugh, where is it? Well, it doesn't matter. It's useless out here anyway. Okay, well, XRJ, he's got his phone back working again, and uh, now he's got a use for it because with his Meshtastic device, he can still use his phone and do text messages even when he's got no cell service. Hi, this is Russ, VA7XRJ, and right here I have my Meshtastic device, which is connected to my phone, and we're going to see, Dan's going off somewhere, I'm going to see if we can uh, communicate with him. Okay, so uh, XRJ didn't come out here with me. He's uh, back at the fire. We're about five miles apart or something. Um, but I'm going to try sending him a message with this T-Deck and just see, um, see if he can get the message. So I'll just say, um, it's kind of like a Blackberry, this thing. I'm coming back soon. It's like one of those old Blackberries, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I just push enter. Now... You see how it, it went green around there? So I know my message has been gated. It, he's seen, it's been delivered. So I'm just gonna wait and see if, uh, if he replies to me. I know, I know it went out. Oh, it just buds. And there it is. He says, sound good, <laughs> sounds good. So there you go. There's a practical example of, uh, of me sending him a message uh, with the, with the T-Deck.
Oh, Dad messaged me. I'll be coming back soon. Now I can reply to Dan. Sounds good. Okay, so it's really just a brief overview there to show you and show you the technology working. And being that it's in the 900 megahertz frequency range, um, you know, the line of sight characteristics are really pronounced. Um, but, you know, some of the stuff I've experimented with and uh, the, the repeater I set up, uh, you know, I have a long antenna um, that's a uh, 900 megahertz antenna, quite high up. And uh, you'd be surprised with, uh, you know, some of the coverage you can get with this stuff. And uh, I'm replacing that actually with some uh, rack wireless gear for those that care. And uh, anyway, um, you know, it's not, a, it's not a replacement for our radios. I, I don't believe in any way. You can take my radios from my cold, dead hands. Uh, but it's a really, it's something interesting as a, another communication tool. And uh, hopefully this encourages you to maybe pick up some of this mestastic gear. It's pretty inexpensive, pretty affordable. Unfortunately, uh, you know, a lot of it comes out of China, unfortunately, but it, it is quite inexpensive and it's something to experiment with. I've been a licensed uh, ham radio operator since I was 12 years old. And before that, I had, you know, CB radio since I was a little kid. And for me, it's been very interesting. It's been a really interesting uh, thing to experiment with and uh, play around with. And it also has its practical uses. So hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching.